Programming is a superpower. You don't really want to write your programs. You need to get good at program architecture and then programmer coordination. You want to come up with a system where many people can work on your big programs at the same time to finish things sooner. Writing little programs is fun. A one-person program can become a piece of art. Programming has a lot to do with creating universes, any kind of universe, in any kind of shape. Remember that inner fractal tesseract scene from Interstellar? That is where you go when you create universes in the computer world. It is a place where everything is strangely slid, except it's not as dramatic as the movie, and you can interact with everything and anything. You go into a world where anything can be anything you want. Things can get exotic if you put your imagination to it. Creating a world in Inform 7 can be a wonderful experience. Writing your own virtual world creation programs, where you create abstract graphics and bend physics to your will, can also be pretty fun. Creating 2D games, scrolling games, with pixel art and all kinds of new game mechanics, as in Mario, spelled with a zero, can be an amazing experience. And games are the least of it. Programming robots, drones, submersibles, to cross Atlantic, automatically race, or fly in swarms, is like taking games outside into the real world. And the moment you put that on the internet, you'll get job offers and nobody's going to ask you if you completed high school or not. Then there is the computer research zone. There are mountains of white papers and just as many helpful explanations. So programming can be both art and science. And programming can give life to mathematics. It can make all those formulas start dancing around. It's also very useful for business or product creation or creating things out of thin air like a magician. While programming is a form of art, learning programming is an art too. You learn how to learn and you learn to spot liars that claim to teach. When you are learning for real at home, you get the front row seats to watch the fake education experience in full. Programming is really, really empowering when it comes to the battle against poverty, something that schools do nothing about, if not downright perpetuate by charging money, and not a reasonable or restrained sum, but the maximum they can get away with. Learning programming is not about memorizing the languages, but practicing programming by creating curious little things and having fun. I always thought about programming as inventing, watchmaking, and making tiny universes. But Carly Kloss calls programming a superpower, and I think her explanation is the correct one. If I had to recommend a starting project, it would be generative art that can be printed out on big canvas and displayed in galleries around the world. Programming art is a fun way to get started with mathematics and more complex things, like 3D printing, electronics and robotics. Computers really are the future.